So my dry shaft is hitting the cross member where the cap gets bolted down to. Let me show you where it's hitting. So there's really no clearance, maybe like a 16th, but you can't see it on camera. So I'm trying to decide what the heck I'm gonna do if I'm gonna cut it and put like a C notch on it or just cut, you know, like about here on both sides and raise this portion of it and get a thicker gauge uh, steel plate and go up. Then just pretty much box it, not box it, but like go up like this and then across the top, then come back down then obviously weld it here, weld it there, weld it across the top, and then do the same thing here, where it's pretty much just uh, removing this section, going up like this, and then go up like that, and then drop it straight down. Thinking of possibly doing that, but being that the freaking, um, there's a bolt there for this uh, fuel tank strap, Bolt there so I'm contemplating possibly removing the fuel tank the one underneath the driver seat this guy just because of those freaking bolts because again like even back here like I have clearance now but if I already hit a big enough uh, bump this might also make contact here because I have more clearance than this space here above my C notch on the rear of the truck. You really can't see it. I have more space from the C notch to the axle than I do here. So I'm gonna have to notch, like cut a section of pipe and put it here or box it like I was saying. Then I definitely got to do something here as well. Just not sure what I'm going to do. If I'm going to get that steel plane and just go up, across and down, or cut the whole section off and just put like a, like a C channel, I guess, on it. But yeah, it's looking like I might have to remove that fuel tank after all.